Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hi, I'm Kevin Barry. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. A historic lake in the center of Parma is becoming a stormwater retention basin, trying to stop major flooding. It was a unanimous decision for city council. Not the case, though, for community members who spent hours telling council why that lake should stay. They're worried that losing the lake will bring down property values and hurt wildlife nearby. The mayor says approving the $3.4 million proposal wasn't an easy decision, but city leaders thought it was necessary. Our job is trying to keep our housing stack up, lakes out of people's basements. That's and we're going to keep moving, trying to get these projects done so we have a significant amount of reduction for people because it's just devastating when you have those storms. Construction could start later this year. The city manager in Hudson officially steps down on March 18th. The Hudson Council approved Jane Howington's resignation last night. Hudson already lost its mayor this month when he resigned following comments about ice fishing and prostitution. Today, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine met with the Euclid Police Department talking about launching a new body camera program. The police department got more than $120,000 to buy body cameras and video storage. Last month, Governor DeWine announced nearly $5 million in funding to get body cameras for more than 100 law enforcement agencies across Ohio. Now let's take a look outside with your Power 5 forecast. Well, those winter temps have returned, and if you're wishing they would go away again, we're only 25 days from spring, but until then, we've still got to deal with a few more wintry systems. We're tracking another potential winter storm that will likely roll in Thursday night and Friday. That may bring two to four inches of snow up towards Cleveland, lower snow amount south, but that means a bigger shot for ice, maybe around a quarter of an inch of ice down around parts of Canton, New Philly, so certainly prepare for some slick roads Thursday night. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.